okay, then how can you avoid an inconsistent usage? Well, I mean, you just mentioned one way that I, I have to be honest, I, I've never mentioned in class, but maybe I will from now on. Um, you know, using software, any kind of software tool that you customize to edit for usage the way you want it to, that's one way to minimize this mistake. Uh, so that's a great tip that I'm going to actually start incorporating into my workshops. Um, but another tip is uh, what I call an edit sheet. And before I show you what I mean by an edit sheet, um, some people watching this will be you know they're they'll, they'll be working for a firm that has a style guide and a style guide is like an edit sheet and it's it's a misnomer it's not really a style guide it's a usage guide because it's it's basically telling everybody in the firm how the firm has decided to to implement usage you know we in this firm yeah follow follow UK English. That's a usage question. You know, we use the Oxford comma. When we write right. a list, we use one, two, three instead of A, B, C. You know, these are usage questions yeah, that a style guide. Stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 that is the single best way for a law firm to improve their writing is to adopt a style guide. But most firms don't have one. Which I find on the one hand, I find it amazing, but on the other hand, I know from experience why it's because partners cannot agree on usage. You know, one partner has an opinion about whether you should uh, underline in order to highlight another lawyer or another partner feels like bolding is the only way to highlight information. And of course, neither one is right or wrong, but um, they, they have their own quirk. And so the, the firm never adopts a style guide. And so for most people, a style guide doesn't exist to solve the problem, in which case you can use an edit sheet. Or even if the firm has a style guide, it's usually quite limited. And so you can supplement the firm usage with your own. And I'm going to show you what I mean when I say uh, an edit sheet. Um, you know, this is a very easy tool to uh, avoid the problem of inconsistent usage. So in other words, every time you decide something that can be done correctly in more than one way, for example, email can be written this way, it can be written E uh, hyphen mail, it can be capital E, you know, and so you just decide, I'm going to write it this way. And you record under E and you decide I'm going to write percent as one word instead of two words. Uh, and you record and then everywhere in the, in the document, you, you are consistent. You know, you get, as you're writing, you say to yourself, oh, how am I writing percent? I don't remember. And then you look at the edit sheet and you remember and then you're consistent. And so it's a very easy solution to this problem. And this is the very first thing I do when I edit is I start an edit sheet because as I said, every document that I have ever edited has this problem, and but it's easy to solve. And uh, even more importantly, if two people or more are working on one document, like a due diligence report, definitely have an edit sheet. And many firms do just for due diligence reports because there are invariably multiple authors working on one document and they don't all follow the same usage. Okay. And so what you're really giving us here in this tool, can you put the tool back on the screen? What you, okay. Yeah. What you're really trying to give us uh, with this tool is a way for uh, lawyers, associates, partners, everybody basically that's working on a document on a collaborative document or a, a document that requires multiple authors and editors this is a simple tool for them to actually create consistent usage. So basically, 
the general editor will say, oh, well, it seems that overall the percent sign has been used instead of the word percent or whatever it is, AM with a big A and a big M, AM with an A dot, M dot, AM with a little AM. By the way, Chris, how do you do AM, PM? Do you do big A, big M? I like the big A and big M. Do the big A and the big M, yeah. With no dots? With no dots. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so look, so you see we have something in common. And I thought it was only mountain biking and uh, loving our kids. Um, but not only that, um, we both do AM, big A and PM. So, you know, if you're a person that's learning this and wanting to implement your edit sheet. Thank you.